Hi, Mr. Mac. Where's Alan? Hey, it's Mac right here. What's your name, bro? Green. Green? Yeah, I was about to say, hell yeah, bro. You said what, bro? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was about to say. We switched hair, bro. Which one? Oh, mm, bro, listen, bro. I ain't gonna hold you. Because, like, those songs are so serious that, like, I would like for people to, like, hear it. So that's gonna be, it's gonna be a minute. I'm not gonna lie. Nah. You were at Factory too with us, right? Yeah, I was there. You on my YouTube vlog, bro. Which one? It's like the funniest moment of all my vlogs. I think so. We were in the staircase, right? I asked what was the meaning of life. You asked him? I thought I asked you. I thought you guys were all grouped there. I don't know. I might be bugging. It might be somebody else. I don't think it's. Oh, okay. Yeah, that, I think that was. Then that was you. It was it was me, you, Bardo, um, Peace out and again. Keith, Keith and Nick. All right, bro. What the fuck are we gonna talk about? Bro, I don't know, bro. <laughs> we talk about that's the thing. Me and Mac talk about so much shit that it's like, what are we gonna I'm talk talking about? Talking about Alan Jones, bro. That's all. I, <laughs> I, I like I like Alan Jones. Okay, let's do that. Nah, I'm just gonna pull like a little fake thing. I'm not gonna talk at all about Alan Jones. Now I'm gonna talk about like <laughs> you just got all excited. You got too excited. <laughs> hey, so no, all right, we can do it, bro. Yeah. yeah. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is Alex Mack, and I'm here with Outlandish. Hi, Outlandish. <laughs> so, as I said, man, what's up with Alan Jones, bro? The people have been asking. Um, you know, I'm on Reddit every day. They're always posting about Alan Jones, <laughs> bro. Where's he at? That's funny. So, Alan Jones is a superhero I created when I was, like, a child. And, like, it's funny. You know, it's, it's funny because, I, like, I had a ball fade my whole life. But I, but I, but I, I, I like mapped out Alan Jones with locks. So it's like I manifested. So I guess in a way, like Alan Jones is like the manifestation of what I will become in a way, like when to, you make, to make place? it deeper than what the fuck it is. Yeah. When you leave this place, when I leave this place, uh, I see okay. what you did that. That was hard. That was hard. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. When I leave this place, I'm gonna turn into Alan Jones for real. Word. When I leave this place, I'm just gonna, I don't know. What you mean? I'll turn it to. Maybe Megatron. He seems kind of cool. Mega, hey, nah, Megatron cool as shit. Yeah. I, I got, got this some... thing. I, I I be thinking the villains much more interesting than the heroes. I ain't gonna hold you. They they just are. Is he redeemable? Define redeemable. Redeemable. It means to be capable of <sighs> retribution of. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I ain't gonna hold right. you. I ain't too. I ain't too familiar with the with the. Yeah, I mean, we just plot. skip across vocab words. That's not important, right? Uh, is there a villain that is redeemable? Stain. Stain from my hero. Stain had a solid resolve. Like maybe his 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 methods were a little off, but I I, I see what he was trying to say. You niggas ain't heroes for real. You you not. Stop 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 wearing it like you are. Stop false claiming. There's a lot of false prophets and false claims out here, man. Absolutely. Stain we're, in that, uh, we're in that cycle right now. Mm -hmm. How do you get through that with all this different information? How do you use your power of discernment? How, how should you move? Um, I like to believe that I'm, that I'm spirit-led in a way. I like to believe that like God has a set plan for me that I don't quite understand, but every step I take, it seems to get better for me. So um, that's kind of how I go through it. I feel like I'm always where I'm supposed to be, even when I think I'm not. It just always works out, you know? It can't be me doing that, you know? True. But then it's beautiful because uh, being used as a vessel, I mean, you're the one to put Live from the Land together, right? Of course, with the help of uh, some very helpful... Yeah. Yeah. All these Shout folks. Out. We put the little, like, runner at the bottom. <laughs> the credited, Shout credited, credited. Everybody. But, yeah, I mean, we've talked about before, uh, 813, right? Oh, you bring him up. He digging up skeletons. All right, bet. So no, you don't, if you want to go to it. No, 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 because it, it makes a lot of sense because like we're live from the land, like the concept came from. So I ran this page called 81 back in like 2019, 2020, where all I did was promote Tampa art. And um, long story short, what happened with it is I think I, I think what happened with it was that I burnt myself out 
Like, cause I was doing everything by myself. As you can see now, like I choose the, the village method, the tribe method, and that's how I won't get burned out. So Live From The Land, I kind of like rebranded the 8 one thing, toned down a lot of stuff. Cause like Live From The Land, I mean, 8 one I was doing like, um, you were I like had, posts and you were going to shows. Yeah, I was like journalizing all the shows. I I have I have playlists on Spotify that you can still find. Like if you type in A T E and then the number one, you can find all the the, the um, playlist that I had. And the, the playlist was so collab so collaborative because like sometimes I have an artist in the city do the do the cover art for the playlist, and then sometimes I have an artist in the city curate the entire playlist and like. You know what I'm saying? I just did things like that. I did like Freestyle Fridays where I gave out money to the winners and joint and, and, and things like that. It's, so like now I kind of rebranded into something a lot more simpler, but I can still do what I love to do, which is like show art that I love, you know? Mm -hmm. So as you've been rebranding the platform that you've been looking to build, kind of instinctually it feels like, seems like you just had an interest for that. What's next for you, man, as an artist? I mean, you've got two bona fide splappers bona fide outright. That's crazy. I mean, residue, you know, the day that that shit dropped, I told you how I felt about appreciate that. Appreciate you, appreciate yeah, you. Yeah. We got place out now. We, we see you're like starting to build up some of the branding that we were talking about, the mm -hmm. little visual things. As I say, you me know, Alex you know. talk a lot, bro. Well, what's next for you, man, as an uh, artist? As an artist, I got an EP I'm trying to put out by the end of the Not year. Not trying? The EP that I'm going to put out by the end of the year named Affirmations, and it's clear as day, like, it's my affirmations. It's like me affirming that I'm going to get out and I'm going to like be something. Word. And what is that something before we wrap up and then you can tell them where to go? We can stop with the deep questions. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's the interesting thing. Um, like I said, I'm spirit-led, so it's whatever I'm meant to be. I don't know what I'm meant to be yet. I just have an idea. I mean, I like it, man. That's the, the beauty of life is that you think you know where you're going and then you wind up on a different road because you just decide to keep moving. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, beautiful, man. Tell them where to follow you. Uh, find me everywhere. Out Outlandish, the poet. That's T-H-A, never T-H-E. Outlandish, the poet. And then on my music, it's outlandish with an exclamation mark. Ta -da -da. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Hell yeah, bro. Appreciate it. Thank you, bro. Hey, we are Alex. Mr. Max. So, where's Alex?